Mallorca is included in the supplemental uh, funding request is over two and a half billion dollars for immigration and customs enforcement. And I've had longstanding concerns about the conditions at the Torrance County Detention Facility where in 2022, um, the Department of Homeland Security's OIG actually recommended immediately relocating all of the ICE detainees from Torrance until the facility ensures adequate staffing and safe living conditions. A later subsequent DHS OIG report reaffirmed the same sort of basket of problems. And so what I want to ask, um, I have a very simple request for you. I, I want you to become personally familiar with this facilities and its challenges. Will you commit to doing that? I will. And I should say two, two things. Go ahead. One, the conditions in um, ICE detention facilities uh, is indeed a priority. And for the first time, we closed five facilities that, that did not comply uh, with the conditions uh, that we insist upon. I commit to you to look at the Torrance Facility Center. Uh, I look forward to working with you on that. Um, Secretary Mayorkas, I, I also want to ask you to sort of, we sort of glossed over what you said about the importance of technology at our land-based ports of entry. So I want you to expand on the technological investments that are incorporated into this supplemental and why they're so important in particular uh, to detect illicit narcotics like fentanyl and, and please reiterate why it's also so important to focus specifically because of the numbers on those land-based ports of entry. Senator, um, over 90% of the fentanyl that is smuggled into this country is smuggled in through the ports of entry, uh, predominantly via passenger and commercial vehicles. And non-intrusive inspection technology, it's known as everything is, it seems, in the government by its acronym NII, uh, is a remarkably efficient force multiplier in enabling us to detect the ingenious ways that fentanyl is sought to be smuggled through those vehicles. Uh, most recently, I saw uh, lengthy uh, 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 vertical uh, candles uh, hollowed out in their centers and pills hidden in them. The detection technology that we seek to enhance through this supplemental, I believe it's a, about 1.1 billion, uh, is just an extraordinary tool in detecting that um, and enabling our field office uh, personnel, our field operations personnel, uh, to work on other elements of the port security. That 1.1 billion, how much additional capacity to scan incoming passenger vehicles will that give you? I should, if I can, correct myself. I think it's about 850 million on the technology. We also have um, some of the funds, the balance for the officers themselves. Uh, I'm sorry, if, if you Just would. how much additional capacity will that give at our ports of entry to, to catch illicit substances? Oh, it's, it's, um, it's uh, by a multiple uh, senator. It's okay. just an extraordinary um, advancement of our mission. Secretary Becerra, um, I want to ask you about the scheduling process. And under the Controlled Substances Act, um, both HHS and the Drug Enforcement Agency have a role to play in scheduling. Can you talk a little bit about uh, the unique expertise that HHS brings to that, that process that may not exist at DEA? Senator, thanks for the question. Uh, principally through the Food and Drug Administration, uh, the FDA at HHS, it is uh, our responsibility to try to give the science on substances so that, therefore, uh, DEA can then decide where to classify that substance when it comes to being a, a narcotic or uh, a substance that can, could have an impact on society. Uh, we undertake an effort to make sure that we update the science. We want to make sure that if we're scheduling a particular substance or drug, it's, it's properly scheduled. And so whether it is the all the fentanyl and uh, what we're seeing today with some of these drugs that are having an impact on our country. We want to make sure that they are properly, based on the science, scheduled for activity. We also want to, for example, make sure that we can do the research that's necessary to determine how to schedule a drug. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Senator Haggerty. 